Uh, now, when I started these people jogging, I talked about these cardiac patients and others, we started jogging. We had to get them to run 15 minutes without stopping. That was the first thing. When we got them to run 15 minutes without stopping, then I said, okay, now you can run 15 minutes. Every third day or thereabouts, I want you to run half an hour. So we had them run Monday, Tuesday, 15 minutes. Wednesday, they'd run for half an hour. Thursday, Friday, they'd run for 15 minutes. Saturday, they'd run for half an hour and to try and consolidate. When they could get to half an hour, uh, I tried to get them to run three quarters an hour. And then an hour. But we'd always go back to 15 minutes the other two days. But the important thing was to get that muscular endurance. The important thing was to get muscular efficiency so they could get out there and handle longer runs. And once we got them that stage where they could run for an hour, 15 minutes the other day, we brought the mid medium day up, and then we'd go for an hour and a quarter, an hour and a half. Very, very quickly, you can have people running big marges, uh, you know, that previously could just barely stagger around the track because you're getting those longer runs. In. And we all know the first time we go for a run that's longer than we've ever run before, we start to get uh, pretty tired. The next time we handle it, our body adjusts very, very quickly and we can handle it. And it's the muscular endurance we've got to get. Important so and if we, uh, we're setting up a training program for ourselves, realize that the nucleus of mouth and type of conditioning are the three long runs a week. Whatever you consider is a long run in relation to your fitness level and your background of training. For some people at the stage, at some stages, three quarters an hour can be a long run for them. Other people, an hour and a half, two hours is what we term a long run.